back in New York City. I can't believe I'm saying that, but uh, what, 24 hours ago, I was on the ground in Greece, and uh, that is that is one of the most beautiful cities I have ever been to, and quite honestly, one of the most frightening cities I have ever been to. Uh, gave me the chills, and several people in uh, in my uh, group, uh, we were doing a little bit of a, some documentary work. Um, we all felt the same thing. There were times that we actually got the chills. Um, spooky, spooky things are going on in Greece. We'll tell you all about that later on in the program. Also, um, are we in World War III? I contend we are, and I'll explain why. Also, I was gone on, um, what was it, Thursday and Friday, and what I didn't tell you is why or where I was going. One, uh, I went to the Vatican, and I spent about two days at the Vatican meeting with um, high-ranking church officials and, um, and, and others, um, talking to them about what was happening here in America, finding out where they stand on what's happening here in America, uh, also to be there for uh, um, now Cardinal Dolan, who I spoke to, I've lost track of days, uh, Saturday, um, to get a feel and to pledge at least my support, as I did with um, uh, those in the Jewish community, pledge my support to help the Catholic Church face the coming onslaught. I have much to say about what I learned from the Vatican and what is going on, um, and we'll do that also today. But on Friday, in the midst of everything else that was going on, um, I had called a conference along with Freedom Works to um, bring people from all over Europe together and talk to them about a global tea party. I met with people from uh, Serbia and Georgia and Italy and London and Berlin. Um, I'm trying to think where else. From all over, from all over Europe. There were about 25 people, I think, maybe 30 people that were involved. Um, these are, many of them are the movers and shakers, the uh, uh, representatives from the von Mises Institute in Austria were there. Some, some really amazing people came together. What I was shocked at is the number of people that would, um, that would come without an agenda. We called them two weeks ago and said, I am going to the Vatican, I'll be in Rome, and I want you to, uh, I want to meet with you. And the guys from Serbia, they had maxed their credit card out to be able to come to this meeting. They, uh, they were broke, um, but they wanted people to hear what was going on in Serbia. The guy from Georgia came and said, the Americans are teaching us about communism. We're trying to hold our own here and trying to fight communism, and your representatives are teaching us about communism. We need help. And as I listened to all of them and what was going on in their countries, the guy from Milan had the best uh, statement. It is the Italian Tea Party. And he said the reason why we have the Italian Tea Party and we have the teapot as our logo he said, is because we looked for something in our history that it would explain small government. He said, we have nothing. He said, look at us. We're, we're, we're Caesar to Mussolini. We, we don't have this in our history. There is no icon for us to hearken back to and say, restore. This is why it's critical. I haven't told you. Um, I've told you that there have been uh, several people from the European Union that have reached out to me and want to, um, they want help. They want to reach out to the Tea Parties, they want to reach out to the 912 Project, and they need help. I have been very skittish because I don't believe Europe understands small government. It always ends the same way. This time, we didn't reach out to the uh, government officials. They have been reaching out. What I haven't told you is, um, this last summer, a uh, prime minister of the G8 reached out to my office and asked if I could have a private meeting with him. Um, we went back and forth on the phone, uh, and the, the answer in the end was no. 
because his request was, he wrongly said, you are the father of the Tea Party. And uh, I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, he said, well, we want to start our own Tea Party. In the end, it came down to uh, us explaining to him that a prime minister doesn't start a Tea Party. <laughs> That's like uh, Sears starting a... Uh, put Sears out of business boycott. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It's about small government, and it can't start with the government. And so we said no. We met with these people, um, and when I stood up, I was very nervous. And I told them, I said, look, I, I, I'm I, nervous about um, talking to you because it always ends the same way in, in Europe, because you don't have a small government example. I said, but time is running out. And um, we have got to stand together and help each other. And if the left is global, we must, too, be global. We must have some framework and organization for a global movement. I also then went into why I was there at the Vatican to pledge my support for the um, Catholic Church and their efforts here to stand against what I believe is a totalitarian move. I said, the only thing that will save us now is God. And I was shocked. I was shocked. Not a single head uh, in the room moved or shook their head. No, here comes a crazy God talk. I was shocked to see how many people supported this idea that it will end the way the um, French Revolution ended if we don't interject God and make sure we base it on something real.